Hi, Steve Clifford, and I am brought to you by Sheehy Toyota of Stafford, Virginia, Fredericksburg, Virginia, and Laurel, Maryland. Visit them at Sheehy.com. Okay, the winter driving months are just now starting. In some parts of the country, it's already started. So we're going to talk about some of the things that might pop up while you're driving that can honestly sometimes be a little on the irritating side. And I'm going to show you how to deal with these. Really, there's three different driver assist features that can come into play that might be bothersome once you start getting snow and ice or grime or salt or anything like that built up on some of these sensors. The number one thing has to do with the adaptive cruise control. Now, all of our cars have adaptive cruise control, but some of them have a cruise control system that is actually always on. And that is that right now, as of uh, as of winter of 2023, we're talking about the Grand Highlander, the entire Corolla lineup, including the Cross, the Crowns, BZ4X. There might be something I'm forgetting, but anyway, the what's called Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. The cruise control is always on, and so if it is on and it is in the adaptive mode. If those sensors start to get blocked, you're gonna get warning lights on your dash. Well, that's an easy one to deal with because you just need to change modes. This little button here that says mode, hit that twice, and now it just says regular cruise control. So with the regular cruise control, you're not gonna have any, you're not relying on any sensors, so it doesn't matter if they get blocked up. The next thing has to do with the pre-collision system. Now, if the pre-collision system is not working, best thing to do is gonna be to stop and clear off your sensors, And but I understand that that is not a realistic option in many cases. Sometimes you have no choice, you gotta keep driving. So, go into your menu, and on this one, you just drop down to the settings. Scroll across over here to that thing, that is PCS, pre-collision pre system. Push and hold that, drop down, turn it to, are we sure you wanna turn it off? Yes, we're gonna turn it off. All right, now the pre-collision system is off. You have this little indicator over here. And now your little warning light is not gonna keep coming on. So it's gonna be less distracting. So the last thing that I've seen that happens in icy and snowy conditions, and by the way, here in Northern Virginia, we don't get a lot of that, so I can't really demo it hands-on. But the other thing is the, uh, the parking sensors. The parking sensors will get covered up, and again, you'll get a warning light that just continues to flash down here, which really does bother some people. Well, again, you go to your settings. This car does not have parking sensors, but if you slide across to, it'll say PKSB right there. And if it says PKSB, then push and hold to turn off your parking sensors. That'll take care of your last warning light. Now, I did have one other solution that I thought was gonna work, but it didn't. And that is just to turn off all of the uh, traction control and, and traction aids and that is done by pushing and holding this button if you push and hold this for three seconds then it does turn off even your traction control however that warning is going to keep popping up there every few seconds or so it's going to pop up and say hey your traction control system's not working well that's what we were trying to get out get rid of in the first place is the, the display in the middle of your screen that was distracting. So that's how you, you don't want to turn off traction control, but you do want to turn off the pre-collision system. Again, best solution is to clear your sensors. But until you do, that's how to address it so that it doesn't keep flashing those warnings while you're trying to drive in snow, ice, freezing rain, and all those other things where you really do need to keep your distractions to a minimum. I hope this has been helpful. I'm Steve Clifford and thanks for watching.